All right, we're going to talk about the InnoGear microphone arm. Now, this is one of the best budget ones, but I do want to make sure you understand you get what you pay for. This does come in at a much lower price than some of those higher end ones. And I want to say that this thing performs admirably well for the price that you get this at. It comes with all the features that you get in every other mic arm that you're going to find. If you are on a budget and you're looking to stream or record or just need some extra length on there, this thing works great. But I do want to talk about one key thing that is the reason why I couldn't use this. And it it's in the description because in the description, it says it can hold up to 53 ounces. Now, while this is true, I put a Rode Procaster on this and it did have a shock mount on it. It still comes in under that weight. However, when I want to angle the microphone up or hold it higher, this thing cannot hold the weight of the microphone. That's not a bad thing because that's just on the articulation of the arm, but it will hold the weight in place. And then you can use the microphone. It's just going to be dangling down. So if that's something that matters to you, like it does to me, that is something you should be made aware of. Other than that, this does have the different pieces. There's really good instructions, especially if you're using a Yeti microphone. That way you know that you need to use the tape. They give you tape with it. So there are a lot of good features to this. It's just that for my specific use, I wasn't able to. And this is coming from somebody that's used the Rode PSA-1 and the Elgato Wave Arm. I do want to say the InnoGear, especially for the price point, is a great entry point to a mic arm.